Hey guys, first of all, I just want to say I'm sorry because I know that most of all you guys are probably sick of my um, savings coupons um, videos, but, and I apologize if I look like crap, I'm picking Jaden up from school. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I scored a good deal. And the reason why I do um, want to let you guys know is because everyone always makes fun of me about all the deals that I find and the savings that I find and says, oh, it's too much work. Um, yesterday, I went into Big Five Sporting Goods to buy Jaden some gloves for baseball. And yes, I used a coupon uh, for those. They were on sale. They were on sale for actually $15. And um, then I had another coupon, so it went down to $13. Um, and then today, they were on sale for $12. I was going to do a, a price adjustment to get that extra dollar, but I thought, you know what? No, I'm already scoring a good deal, and I'll tell you about that here in a moment. So I decided that dollar is not worth what I'm about to put this cashier through. So I decided to put that receipt right back into my wallet and just suck up the $13 that I spent and just get over that $1. Um, or normally I would have. That was actually one of my attentions. I had plenty of time um, before I had to pick up Jaden. So I went in for a price adjustment. But I also remembered, and I kept thinking about this all night, that I remember when I was in there, I saw a really good deal. And it was 50% off of the lowest marked um, for some for cleats. And I thought, okay, they're soccer cleats. Well, soccer is in season, coming in season. So a lot of people are going to be needing um, some soccer shoes. And I don't know if you guys know, but I have always sold um, through the marketplace or I've sold directly to people. Um, I've always been excited about selling. So for years and years and years I've been selling. Well, I just recently started selling um, on eBay in August and I have been doing fantastic. I became top rated seller within a few months and um, I'm addicted to it. And along with that, I have helped people start selling on eBay as well. So um, I was really excited when I went into the store today because I walked directly to that uh, clearance area and I saw that all of these shoes were still there and still on sale for 50% off. So I thought, okay, this is my time. But what I also knew that I had a coupon because I save lots of coupons and I'll show you Kind of my little coupon it used to be bigger on couponing But now I just kind of have this and it's not very organized But the reason why I clip coupons is not that I intentionally want to go to that store and use that coupon Because then I'm just spending money on things that I may not need But if I find a good deal like I did today, I will go back into my little organizer and check to see what coupons I have so I had two coupons. Um, one of them was not to be used on clearance items. The other one was a $10 off of 30 and I read the fine print before I even walked into the store and it did not specify that I could not use the coupon on clearance items. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna, before I start doing my shopping, the first thing I've learned to do is I go straight to that cash, cashier and I asked, can I use this coupon on clearance items because I plan to buy a few of those items that are on clearance? And the gal said, yeah, no problem. So I also wanted to make sure, because I've made this mistake as well, I wanted to make sure that at 50% off, um, the lowest mark price was on the tag, uh, the clearance tag, not the retail price. So I asked a kid there and he said, oh no, it's um, that's the lowest mark price already, that orange tag, so no more discount off of that. It didn't make sense because one of the shoes was $25 and if it was 50% off of that, it would have been $12.50, um, but it said $19.98 on it. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna go double check. So I went to the front and there was a supervisor and a cashier and I said, I just wanna make this, um, this uh, promotion that you guys have going on clear because I feel like the gentleman that I just asked didn't give me the correct information, so can you just verify? Um, is the lowest mark price this orange tag? And the gal said, uh, no. And so I said, okay, so is it 50% off of this tag? Or she said, yes, I apologize. She said, yes, the orange tag is the lowest mark price. I said, okay, so that means there's a 50% off that specifies 50% off of the lowest mark. So it's 50% off of the orange tag, not the retail tag. She said, correct. So I said, okay and I can use that coupon on these clearance items. So I go and I grab four boxes of, of shoes, thinking um, one that they say 19, and I'm sorry if you can't really see that, but it says 19.98 on there. So I'm thinking, okay, it's gonna be half of that, so it's gonna cost me about $10 uh, for these. So I grab four of them, that's 
$40 right there minus the $10 off of 30 so um, I'm paying $30 for four pairs of shoes well it got better I go up to the cashier and she realized that these were ringing up less than even what it said they're ringing up as 1375 instead of 1998 so I said oh my god that's amazing and I said well I, I hate to do this but I'm gonna go grab four more boxes and I am very strategic when I'm purchasing things as far as sizes I think about soccer cleats um, what is the age group that is more commonly going to be using these these shoes um, I always think about kids my son's age so when I go find deals I look for things that you know, a kid in fifth or sixth grade can use large, extra larges. Um, in this case, they were very limited, so I just grabbed the the largest size that I can find. So there are some more, mainly youth, but also kids. So this box here of these shoes was normally twenty five dollars, clearance for nineteen ninety eight, and then it rang up at thirteen seventy five. So I actually spent uh, five dollars and sixty five cents for those shoes. Um, I don't know if you could see there, but $5.65 for the shoes. Um, so after all of these shoes here, it was $61.20. Don't forget I had that $10 off coupon. So it brought it down to $51.20 uh, for all of these shoes. So I could do whatever I want to do with these shoes. Um, yes, I've given stuff away, but I am... I always want to be an entrepreneur and I like to make money so my goal is to turn these and uh, you know including shipping I, I hope to make at least $15 off of these shoes um, just because there are some people in certain areas that don't have um, they can't get Nike um, and you know so I find that they sell very very well anything Nike sells very very well online which brings me to another point I sell a lot of my own clothes my son's clothes um, anything I can and that's that's mainly what I do. I, I normally don't go buy stuff to sell online at all unless I find a really good deal. I usually just uh, sell from my, my own house, my closet, my son's closet, and, and everything sells on there. So um, there's always this meme that goes around that talks about, oh, I have bags of clothes in my car, my trunk that have been sitting there for months. I just never find the time to go to a donation center to donate it. Well, I am that donation center and I will come to you so you don't have to go to a donation center if you were trying to get rid of clothes I prefer name brand but if it's non name brand whether it's dirty they've been used I don't care the condition I will take it so if you have bags full of stuff that you've been wanting to just donate get rid of throw in the garbage um, I will take them I'm not gonna take large household items but I will take mainly clothing and mainly shoes um, backpacks anything like that I will take so if if you know anyone who's trying to clear out the house, um, spring cleaning is coming up, then let me know and I will go pick up whatever it is that they want to get rid of. Um, I have been known to buy things off of people as well, so if you have something that's in really good condition and I feel that it's going to be profitable for me, um, I would be willing to buy it, but I am, again, strategic, so if you do want me to buy an item from you, I am going to do some research on the item. I'm going to see how much I can make, and if it's not worth it to me, then I won't um, buy it, uh, but I will help you you know, sell that item, or there are things that you can do um, to get your money back or whatever it is that you want to do with that item. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, if anyone, you, family member, friends, give them my information or give me their information and I will reach out to them and pick up their stuff. But um, I just want to let you guys know that there are some people who are looking for Nike shoes for their kids. They're starting soccer and you may not want to make money off of these things, but you may want them for yourself. And these are the reasons why I share my deals. A lot of people, again, say it's a lot of work. Uh, oh, you just get lucky. I don't get lucky. I always think about these things. I ran into this deal yesterday. I had a coupon and I just thought, okay, I just something in my head told me I need to go back and I just need to get those shoes and it worked out even better for me. It was a bonus for $5.60. 65 cents for shoes that I thought I was already scoring a deal with by getting about 9.95 uh, for those shoes. But wouldn't you rather spend five dollars and 65 cents or even 13 dollars on a pair of cleats rather than full price 25 dollars for your kid um, or if you know a family member who is looking for uh, soccer shoes, let them know. So even if again you 
you don't use your coupon, that's fine. Just save them. I always, like I said, I, I clip coupons because you never know when you're going to run into a good deal and you'll want to go through and see how much more of a better deal you can get. And people always say, oh, I got a good deal. They were on sale. Well, look what I just did. I got a good deal. They were on sale. Not only that, I had a coupon that knocked off some extra. So to me, I got each pair for what, $5.65. And if I have that $10 off coupon, in my head, I think, oh, I got two pairs for 65 cents. So that's the way I think. Um, so it's not a waste of time to clip a, clip a coupon. It's, it could be worth it. And um, whether you know you wanna give it to someone else, I've been known to find good deals on things. Everyone remembers my deal that I found at Plaid Pantry, Plaid Pantry um, on those Ritz crackers uh, that I scored a dollar twenty a box of twelve, um, and I gave some to my neighbor. I've gave some to my family. Um, I'm not. I, if I find a good deal, I, I will. I will buy it, and I do. Um, I do share. So, but for the most part. I want to make a living and I like money <laughs> and so for the most part I am gonna sell the stuff that I find um, I am sorry if this video is long um, I, again the only reason why I'm making these videos is because people always ask can you teach me can you teach me can you tell me how you find these deals and to me it's a lot of work to sit down with everyone individually so I would rather just make a video and let you guys know kind of the deals that I run into how I run into them and and don't be afraid you know to ask about a coupon that's one thing I just want to say is don't feel embarrassed don't be afraid um, I'm definitely not embarrassed and I'm not afraid at all if it's something that's gonna help me I'm, I'm gonna ask and I'm not trying to be that annoying cashier um, the gal was really really nice and overrode a lot of the prices for me she had to manually do them and I and I, in the end I said thank you I go I, I really appreciate your time and sorry if I you know there's a few people online I said I really appreciate you and have a wonderful day and then she said yes you too so you have to be nice to the cashiers if you are finding these kind of deals especially when I asked her do you mind if I go back and get four I did ask um, you know there was no one next to me so I felt that she had a little bit of extra time um, so again good luck and if you guys have any questions at all you guys want to save um, you know have some extra money for your family let me know I'm I'm here and I'm willing to help just because I like to pay it forward um, so I'm willing to help anyone who is willing to help themselves I don't like when people come to me and say hey can you can you help me um, and then I tell them you know how to do it and then they say oh it's too much work I don't want to do that um, and that's fine if you guys are that way um, you know I, I've had a lot of people uh, say that to me and and more people you know 90% of the people that I talked about they're like they say it's too much work for me it's not if it's gonna give me an extra hundred dollars in my bank account a week which it does um, I, I'm gonna do everything I can if it's if it's easy and the more you do this kind of stuff the more routine it comes uh, becomes I had an extra 10 minutes or 15 minutes to get my son <laughs> oh welcome there they are the hold on I'm doing a video so and I, I couldn't do this You're live because I didn't have any um, any sorry, uh, data or whatever, uh, reception is what I'm trying to say. I'm a little distracted as you can tell because I keep on trying to see if they're coming and they did come. So um, good luck. Give me your clothes if you want to donate them or get rid of them. I will take them from you. And again, if there is stuff that you want me to buy from you, I will do it at a reasonable price. Don't get greedy because I'm not stupid. Um, I will research the item. So uh, peace out. Say bye guys. No, thank you. Okay. Well, bye.